Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you the final checkout video of what would be considered a 5302 Western Electric. And uh, normally these uh, look more like a 500 set, but uh, they call them a 5302 because they were right after the 302 and they still have the metal dial and the center dial ring. And uh, so we have a different type of uh, center dial ring uh, that we installed and it just says wait for dial tone. And uh, so it turned out really cool. These, uh, this telephone was with an, an array of telephones, like five other telephones, a candlestick, um, a metal type uh, phone with uh, the receiver that hangs up on the side and the transmitter is basically mounted on the telephone and a, um, a Kellogg, I believe, and a uh, wooden wall telephone. So it came in with some other telephones and uh, this is Steve's telephone from Texas. So uh, I do believe he sent in like five phones. But anyway, uh, this is one of them and uh, it's a really cool telephone. This is the final checkout. So let's go ahead and, and ring the telephone. I'm gonna let that go a couple times. Give you some dial tone. And we're going to go ahead and dial the numbers. Now we had to go through this telephone and clean it up and uh, we had to repair the dial on it. The dial was moving very slowly and it was not, uh, it was not hitting the numbers properly and so uh, everything had to be repaired and the contacts had to be cleaned and adjusted and so basically we did various repairs. We also installed a modular handset or a modular line cord on this telephone because uh, the line cord was a hardwired situation and of course Steve wants to use this telephone so um, we install line cords on them when uh, when that's needed. So anyway, uh, basically there was various repairs to this telephone and uh, I'm going to go ahead and check the transmit. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, transmit through the handset. Every time you see that red indicator light on the analyzer, that's 100% modulation. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hello, hello. And so now what we want to do is uh, I want to take the telephone line cord and plug it into a regular telephone line. I want to give you some dial tone. And we're going to call, say, like a time and temp number. anytime at Offenberg.com. Today is Saturday, September 10th. The time is 2.15. Current temperature 82 degrees. Now the weather forecast for the Belleville area. Cloudy today, scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms highs in the 70s. Mostly cloudy tonight, a chance of showers lows in the 50s. Mostly cloudy Sunday, then becoming partly sunny. Chance of showers highs around 80. So let's try one more number. Let's try my number. Give you some dial tone here. And um, when I call my number, it will be busy. So we know that this telephone, and I'm going to put it back over in the analyzer, we know this telephone is in working condition. And uh, it's a really cool telephone. These are very sought after because it has the 302 dial in it. And um, another thing I want to show you that they changed, um, if they ever put, 
which I don't believe they ever did, but uh, there is a bell adjustment here, and so you can actually turn the bell up and down. And uh, I'm going to try to set the telephone to where we can I can show you that. Try to set this down here real quick. I want to go ahead and ring it so you can turn it down. And that's what these 5302s had. And then I'm going to give it about medium. Let that go a couple times real quick. So that was what was really cool about these. These were a, um, these were a 302 basically with the 500 set um, body on it, and uh, basically some of the ideals that they ended up going with on the 500s. Uh, like a bell adjustment, you could turn it down and turn it up, and uh, so these were kind of caught in the middle, and uh, they're very uh, sought after, highly collectible, and they have a lot of the 302 parts in them, and basically, uh, you know, the inside body and frame and everything is is a 302, and so this is one of Steve's telephones that have been finished up, and it's uh, ready to be sent back to Steve, but. We may just uh, set a couple of them aside and send a few back at, at one time. Uh, we're going to go through a uh, Kellogg telephone for him, a red bar, and uh, we'll be doing a video on that shortly. We're going to kind of do these telephones one at a time. When people send uh, multiple telephones in for repair, it, it uh, you know you, you want to go through each one of them and take you know a time with each one of them. So. Um, it's not a rushed issue, and uh, I don't try to rush through these things. Uh, I like to uh, repair them, go through them, make sure everything's proper, and uh, we kind of go from there. But this is a really cool 5302. This is Steve's telephone from uh, Texas, and uh, this is the final checkout video. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.